Hello everyone, and welcome to a fresh review on Cisco Commerce Workspace, or CCW. My name is Joshua Scarborough. I'm a security systems engineer at Cisco within the partner space. To start it off, I'm going to show you how to build an estimate for probably one of our harder products, Firepower and its associated aspects. It's always fun to hit the ground running. So we're going to be starting from scratch. I'm going to be assuming that we don't have a lot of experience building a quote for firewalls or how to find that information. When it comes to quoting on a firewall, I have one rule. And this is, let's make sure that we have the correct firewall for the project that we are building. How are we gonna do this? Data sheets. How do we find these data sheets? Well, every good engineer will have, tell you that they have a backup. My backup is always Google. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna put in Cisco Firepower data sheets. Nothing specific. And I'm simply just gonna do a quick search. And you can see right off the bat, we have the Cisco Firepower 1000, the 4100, 2100, and we also have the Firepower 9300, which is not visible on this page. All of these data sheets are broken up by the series or the product that we're gonna be working with. They're all Firepower devices, but many of them will fit in different categories. What I'm going to work with is the Firepower 2100 series here. These data sheets will give you all of the information re related to what we need to know. Some of the questions like, do we need VPN enabled? If so, how many sessions are we going to need? Do we need the ability to have SSL decryption? What kind of bandwidth are we going to be working with? And what are the expectations of this firewall? Are we doing application visibility? You'll get all of the detailed performance specifications right here, and this will help us make an informed decision of what we need to know. It's important to note that we test our bandwidth using 1024-bit TCP packets. The higher the number of the bit, the harder it is to reassemble that packet. <clears throat> Once we have an idea of the firewall that we want to use, in my instance, I want to use the Firepower 2120. It fits my needs, and I know that I'm going to need to have SSL decryption enabled. The one issue that we're going to run into, though, for these data sheets is there are no SKUs on this specific data sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep in mind that I know it's a Firepower device. It's a 2120 is the one I want. So I'm going to go back to CCW, and I'm simply just going to type in Firepower 2120. And you see a few SKUs pop up here. We have the Firepower 2120 ASA SKU. We have the Firepower 2120 bundle. We have the Firepower Threat Defense HA bundle. And we also have the Firepower Next Generation Firewall SKU. The primary difference between the Next Generation Firewall SKU and the ASA SKU is going to be what the base software ships with for that product. Our Firepower devices can run the ASA code, but it can also run Firepower Threat Defense. So depending on what the customer's needs are, choose your SKU accordingly. So if they are specifically looking for the ASA code, we'll get an ASA SKU. We also have a few other bundles that you'll see here. So we have the Firepower 2120 bundle, as well as the FTD bundle. With these bundles, you'll be able to choose what software you want within it, but also the licensing will be built into the SKUs as well. Firepower Threat Defense HA bundle will automatically add two devices to the bundle itself, if you're looking specifically for high availability. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this master bundle to start it off with. And I'm going to add that to our estimate. But let's take a step back for just a moment and realize that maybe we didn't find the exact right product that we're looking for. Maybe we were looking for another SKU. Maybe we were specifically looking for a license. What I'm going to show you is my number one tip for using CCW and using it effectively. Before I validate it or select any options for this bundle, I'm going to click Recommended Content. And when I click that, you'll notice that a bar populates on the right, and it has everything related to what I need to do with this product. What do I need to validate it? Do I need additional SKUs? Are there things to be aware of? Do I need design assistance? I'm still looking for those SKUs though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that ordering guide 
and I'm going to click View. And once this populates, you'll notice that we land on the Network Security Ordering Guide. This is the primary reason of why none of those SKUs are on those data sheets. We try to consolidate all of our source of truth into a singular ordering guide to make it as easy as possible to find what we're looking for. So as we scroll down through this, you can see all of the, our appliances and all of their SKUs are on this document. Everything related to our firewalls, whether it's an ASA, whether it's the firepower threat defense, or if we're looking for management options. All of our SKUs will be related here, as well as their licensing ability. One of the first things that you'll come up to though is how do you wanna manage your firewalls? We have three primary options. That's gonna be CDO, Cisco Defense Orchestrator, which is a cloud-based management platform that will allow you to manage and configure your devices worldwide from a cloud-based management platform. <clears throat> we also have the on-box management software, Firepower Device Manager. This is absolutely free and it does ship with Firepower Threat Defense. There's no extra licensing SKU that you'll need for this. We also have the Firepower Management Console or the FMC. The FMC is an additional purchase. It can be deployed virtually, but it can also be deployed within hardware. So it's important to know what you're looking for and what your expectations are when you need a management platform. If you have multiple devices that need deep customization and you're looking for very granular reporting, the Firepower Management Center will be right up your alley. If you're looking for cloud-based deployment, if you're looking for cloud options, Cisco Defense Orchestrator will be your next best bet. If you only have one device and you only have intentions to have one device, you can simply use the Firepower Device Manager As we start to scroll down a little bit more, we can see that there's a lot of extra additional information as well. But I know that I'm looking for the Firepower 2120 and I want more information about it. So what I'm gonna do is a quick search for the 2100 series and I'm gonna find where I can see the first title. So here we have SKUs and ordering guidance for Firepower Next Generation Firewall. That includes the 1000, the 2100, the 4100, and the 9300. First up is it's gonna give you a physical view of what these devices look like and what you have the ability to do with them, what the interfaces look like and if they have SFP slots and if they have NetMod bays. <clears throat> but I'm still looking for those SKUs. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find my SKUs and the ordering guidance for my devices that I'm looking for. So here we have ordering guidance for the Cisco Firepower platform, and I'm gonna scroll down until I find the 2100 series. As again, it starts off with the Firepower 1010, I'm gonna skip past it, and you can see all of the SKUs that are related to that specific product. And you'll notice our naming convention is gonna be very similar between all of our products. So here we have the order and guidance for the Firepower 2100 series. And as I mentioned before, there's quite a few different SKUs and few bundles as well. This will give you a good description of what you're looking for. This will give you an idea of what you're gonna be putting into CCW as well. So if you remember, I specifically chose the Firepower 2120 bundle and I know that that's the master bundle here. So I'm aware that I need to have a few other things as well. Like I mentioned that management appliance, or if I decide not to have a management appliance and I just wanna use Firepower Device Manager. We also have the singular SKUs as I mentioned, Firepower 2120 Next Generation Firewall, Firepower 2120 ASA code. That simply dictates what that software is gonna ship with originally, you can also see, as I mentioned before, if you wanna add any net mods or if there's any bays available to add net mods for that specific device. Now here is everybody's favorite parts, licensing. It's important to know that Firepower Threat Defense is gonna use smart licensing and therefore we're gonna to have to have a smart account to register Firepower Threat Defense 2.
So now I'm up to the licensing standards here, and this is what I'm going to need to pay attention to. We have three primary base licensing. Apologies, not base licensing. We have three licenses that we need to be aware of. We have threat, we have malware, and we have content or URL. To order all three, it will simply be the TMC license. This is going to be threat, malware, and URL. Now, to give you a brief highlight of what they do, the threat defense license will actually give you point and update or time and update for all of your snort codes, your security intelligence rules. This is considered to be the base license of the device. It is highly encouraged to always have a threat license as you will get the day zero updates for all of the new attacks that are out there. The malware license is our file scanning. This is what enables the advanced malware protection engine to run on the Firepower Threat Defense device. So with any files coming through the network, we will have the ability to scan them at an edge or at a perimeter, or as the file goes through the Firepower Threat Defense device. We'll give you the indication of whether it's good or bad, and if it's unknown, we will send it to ThreatGrid to virtualize that file, give you the disposition, and then send you the report. And the URL license is what gives you the ability to create content categorization rules and block URLs based off of content. So we can absolutely separate and sell all three. You can sell each one, or you can have none of them. <clears throat> but again, as I highly encourage you to ha always have a threat license. This is what gives you that day zero protection for our security intelligence from Talos. So we have these SKUs here. And this is what I'm going to need to pay attention to, right? For the most part, all I need to be aware of is the first lines that... <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to CCW, and I'm going to highlight this here, and I'm going to do Select Options. As you remember, I chose the Master Bundle, so it's already going to have the licensing built into it, but also the fact if we need any services. I know that I want the next generation firewall code, so I'll go ahead and add that. <clears throat> and I'll have to edit the options for that as well. And I'll choose the North American power cables and I'll click done and I have validated the hardware portion of that. And actually I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to edit options and I'm going to go through this again. <clears throat> I should have mentioned that you can absolutely add any hardware services that you need here or if you need any SFP modules, you can add them here as well. If you're looking for any kind of cable management platform or any brackets, you can add them here as well. And this is all because we chose that Firepower 2120 master bundle. So I'm going to click done again. I don't want to make any changes right there. So we have that next generation firewall code. And as I mentioned before, the subscriptions. And this is another way to find out what the SKUs are for the licensing, or if there's anything that I need to be aware of, it's going to be included within that subscription standards. <clears throat> I'm going to select Firepower 2120 and I'm going to select the TMC method or the TMC license for all three. Once I have that selected, I'll click done and I will have that ready to go. Now, as I mentioned before, there are also things to be aware of, such as the management platform, but also let's try to add a Firepower SKU for a license that we didn't have here. So I'm gonna go back and edit, and I'm gonna to go to subscriptions, and I'm simply just gonna choose TM. So I'm going to be missing out on that URL license. You can click the plus button right there, and you can expand all of the baselines that are included within that specific firewall. So I can see we have the Firepower 2120 TM license here. And I want to go ahead and add the content license as well, or the URL license. <clears throat> and you can see that I just did a simple search for the URL license. And I will be able to add that as a singular line item as well. 
Now I could have just went over to my order and guide and I could have just found that it was Firepower 2110 or sorry, Firepower 2120 T-URL. <clears throat> now, as I mentioned before, we have the on-box management appliance or Firepower device manager built into the Firepower threat defense code. But what if I want a Firepower management center? So we're going to be ordering a few devices, and this new Firepower 2120 is going to be the addition or the next layer for managing all of my devices at once. This is what I need to be aware of. Well, I can deploy the Firepower Management Center virtually, or I can deploy it in the cloud, or I can have the hardware for it. All of our SKUs for our Firepower Management System is right here. It's important to note the main difference between the Firepower Management Centers, their SKUs, the higher the SKU is that we have here, the more memory, the more beefier the components are within the Firepower Management Center. So if we're looking for more logging and we have a lot of bandwidth coming through our firewalls, it's important to annotate and see how much logging we need to hold on to. The 4600 would net you the most logging and storage room within the Firepower Management Center, but we also have the ability to do them virtually as well. Whenever we are talking about virtual Firepower Management Centers, it's important to know how many devices we want to manage at once. <clears throat> As you can see here within the description, for VMware, we can do a specific amount of devices, 2, 10, or 25, but we also have our new SKUs as well. So this is going to be the Firepower Management Center VMW-300, which is built for 300 devices. The newer SKUs will actually have higher system requirements as well. So if you want to be able to add a lot more resources to your Firepower Management Center, you absolutely have the ability to do that as well. But I'm going to add this specific SKU right here because I know I need a big virtual Firepower Management Center. And I'm going to go ahead and edit services and subscriptions for the Firepower Management Center. And you'll notice here there's truthfully nothing to select. You just simply select what kind of software you support you would want and the duration you want. And there is no licensing for the Firepower Management Center. Since the Firepower 2120 devices are all smart licensing, the Firepower Management Center will handle, handle the license for those specific firewall devices. <clears throat> With that being said, that is how you would generate an order for a Firepower device, generate an order for Firepower Management Center as well. And that concludes this session. Thank you all, and please feel free to ask any questions.